we will see with the example you will be crystal clear with that okay so we call it a cpu and cpl okay cp on the upper limit and the lower limit this is cp on the upper limit which is cpu cp on the lower side which is cpl okay and this is how it is if you see here in the sigma level calculation and this bottom only 3s differs okay so this is the most uh, important thing to comprehend now i'm going to give you some examples and excel sheets how many of you have noted this formula very simple formula right now if i tell you specification limit that is usl and lsl and if i give you the average which is x bar and the standard deviation how many of you can calculate cpu cp and sigma level see sigma level is nothing but specification limit and its deviation from the average divided by standard deviation and this one is nothing but three standard deviation okay okay so this is the graph this is the example that i am giving you i'll give you four examples four different situations i want a product let's say i'm buying a knife okay 600 grams to 650 grams the knife for cutting something okay the average weight of all the knives okay you have to weigh the knife okay the knife should weigh on an average 625 grams okay and there are 100 knives that you have purchased the specification should be between 600 to 650 and you expect most of the knives to be around the center the standard deviation is 10 so how many of you can calculate sigma level is said and cp okay and then i'll show you the answer in the excel sheet shortly okay just four examples i'll take now in this example i given 600 to 650 and average is 625 in the next example the standard deviation is less the specification limits are same the average is the same but standard deviation is less now if the standard deviation is less you find that the curve is much inside the specification limits how many of you can see that the curve if you see the earlier slide where the standard deviation was 10 the curve was broader but now the curve is much smaller at least i want you to visualize that if standard deviation is less the the curve will be much inside the specification limits okay now in the third example now i have changed the specification limits now if you see my curve is the same my because the standard deviation is the same but in this example the specification limits are 600 to 650 but here in this example the specification limits are 620 to 630 So what has happened now? You can see that there are a lot of values going outside the specification limit, even though you are. So, so uh, normally there is a joke. Okay, if you want to improve your capability, you can increase your specification limit. Is it true? Suppose like in this example, you want to increase your capability, you increase the specification limit. Is it true? it is not true because it is not you who decide the specification it is the customer who decides the specification you need to only work on reducing the standard deviation what is standard deviation like i said make sure that the marbles do not go far away from the center make sure that your the weight of your knife what you are manufacturing do not go much beyond the averages okay okay now the last example that i'll show now you see the specification limits are there but then the average is shifted and the standard deviation is the same now you see that lot of things are going above upper the defects are falling above the upper specification limits that is the weight of the knife is more and more okay so we'll go on to the excel sheet awesome can you all see my excel sheet now Okay great Now what I've done here is okay there are four scenarios that we see here okay 650 600 and 625 with a standard deviation of 
650, 600, 625 with a standard deviation of 5. And then 630, 620, 625, because we have narrowed down the specification limits and with the standard deviation of 5 and 630, 620, and this time the mean has shifted and the standard deviation of 5. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I've used a technology, okay, <laughs> simply, you know, I've used the same colors, I'll put no fill, answer will come, okay, how many of you like this technology, <laughs> okay, now what I've done is just to save your time, now how 640 is, it is because I have measured the products, 100 products, 100 knives, and I got the average is 640, it, it is possible, right, so USL minus X bar is 25, X bar minus LSL is 25, standard deviation is 30, and EZU and EZL is 2.5. And we have to take lower of this, minimum of this. Okay, 0.3. Second one is, standard deviation is less. So, 3 standard deviation is 15 in this case. And here, you see the sigma level has increased. You see the sigma level has increased. Okay. And also CPU and CPL has also increased. The capability has increased. The standard deviation has decreased. That means that you use better machines and reduce your variations. Your standard deviation is lesser. The variation has come down. So the sigma level has increased. And using this formula, you find 1.6 times. And then for minimum of EZU, EZL is 5 and 1.67. Okay. Let us now take the third one where... Now, I'll ask you a very logical question. I'm not asking you the answer. In the second case, 650, 600, and 625. In the third case, okay, this is example one. This is example two. This is example three. This is example four. In example four, I have reduced the specification limit. Should sigma level increase or decrease? Okay, it should decrease, right? Okay. It has decreased and also the capability has decreased. Capability of the process has decreased. Now, another question. Now, the average has shifted. Should the sigma level increase or decrease? We even want to put the fifth example also, okay? So that we understand this also clearly. And then in this case, what I will do is, okay, we will have it as 650 and 600. Okay, so in the fourth case, should the sigma level increase or decrease? In the example four, I have actually my X bar has shifted, okay? It should further decrease because already specification limits are narrowed and the process is also shifted. So it has become negative. Okay, so it is minimum of two, okay? It is, you have to take the minimum of two. So the minimum of 0 0.67 and 1.33 is minus 0 0.67 and minimum of minus 2 and 4 is minus 2. Okay. The last one, now this is 640 and I've increased the specification limit again. So should it be better than example 1 or should it be lesser than example 1? Which is better, example 1 or example 5? Which process is better? 1 is definitely better because... It has shifted. Okay, can you all see this? Compare with one, the process was absolutely centered, but now 650, 600, it is 0.67 because it is least of the two, right? This is one thing, 2.5 has become two here and 2.5 has become eight here because the process has shifted that I have shown because data is shifted.